What's going on everybody? It is Jake here again. Today I am going to be covering the Wireshark module here. Uh, it looks like there's a, a virtual machine that we're going to need to use, so I'll go ahead and start that up. Uh, but anyways, let's just get right into it. This is the basic version. I think there is two other ones. Uh, right now we're just going to start with this one, and I probably will do the other two as well. Okay, so in task one, uh, it just has you read some things and it asks a couple questions. What file is used to simulate the screenshots? Uh, that should be the HTTP one right here. Dot pcap png or pcap ng. And then which file is used to answer the questions? Uh, that should be the exercise file right here. All right, moving on to task two here. After reading everything in task two, it basically just explains uh, the different features Wireshark has. Getting onto the questions, it says to use this exercise file to answer the question. So read the capture file comments. What is the flag? So on the virtual machine here, we already loaded up Wireshark. I think we just need to open the exercise file. Okay, after loading that up, it should pop up this. Question one says, read the capture file comments. What is the flag? Uh, to, so look at the comments, you wanna go to the statistics, a uh, little bar up here. Click on that and then click on the capture file properties. This little window will pop up and if you scroll down here, uh, it, sh it shows the comments right here, but I believe it also, yeah, it also shows it in the main tab here. Uh, so this is the flag right here. I think we just need the part after the flag. So I'll copy this out here, hit command C, we'll put it in the clipboard here. When it's in the clipboard, um, you just wanna control C that, copy that, and then you you should be able to paste it over here. So we'll go ahead and submit that. Looks like that's right. All right, moving on to question two, what is the total number of packets? There might be an easier way to find out, actually. I can just have the numbers going up and go all the way to the top. It looks like there's 58,200 or 620. And then what is the SHA-256 uh, hash value of the capture file? So I want to say that's under the capture file properties again. Yep. Looks like it's going to be right here. Copy that back to the clipboard, go to the clipboard, and then copy that. Okay, so that's everything for task two there. Moving on to task number three. Okay, so task number three, the first question, view packet number 38. We'll go ahead and go over to there. All right, after we've clicked on packet 38, which markup language is used under the HTTP protocol? Oh, so we'll click the down arrow to make this go down, and it should tell us right under we didn't even have to click the down arrow here. It tells us right here, it's the extensible markup language. That's gonna be the answer right there. Okay, and then what is the arrival date of the packet? Uh, it tells you the format to put it in. So it looks like the arrival time is gonna be May 13th, 2004. Okay, so the next question, what is the TTL value? That's the time to live value. So if you go to the internet protocol version four section, uh, it'll say time to live right here and it's 47. All right, the next question is what is the TCP uh, payload size? Okay, so under the transmission uh, control protocol, the TCP, little down arrow, it'll say the payload right here. Looks like it's 424 bytes. All right, and lastly, what is the ETAG value? The ETAG value is going to be under the hypertext transfer protocol. We'll drop down if you, yeah, if you just hit the drop down, it's going to be one of the first ones here. We'll go ahead and copy that to the clipboard. And then we can paste that in and it looks like that's right there. Okay, so task number four, it says to search uh, search the R4W string in the packet details. So to, to do this first one, you wanna go to edit and then hit find packet. 
this will pop up. It should be automatically set to string. You just type in R4W, and then give it a second to load, and then it'll pop up uh, right in here somewhere. Uh, but as you can read this uh, HTML code, it looks like artist. We're looking for artist one. So it looks like it's going to be in this long little line of code here. I think I had to scroll over because it says artist equals one. Then it says four. R4W8173. All right, it looks like that's the correct answer there. Okay, go to packet 12 and read the comments. What is the answer? Um, so I could just sort this by number and I could go all the way to the top here. Packet number 12. This one was kind of a hard one, uh, but I did figure it out. Uh, so, okay, so if you go to uh, packet number 12, uh, and read the comments, this is what it says, this is not a flag, and it tells you to go to this packet. Once you go to that packet, you want to uh, right click on the JPEG, uh, little drop down there, and you want to export packet bytes. I just saved mine as the file name answer onto the desktop. I'll just replace that. And then this little image will come up here. Uh, you want to right click on that and go to properties. And then you can go all the way over to the digest tabs. Right click on MD5 and uh, click hash. It'll hash everyone selected. And then you want to right click that and copy that. Go to your clipboard and it'll be right here. Just copy this again and then paste it here. Okay, so the next question, uh, it says that there's a text file inside of the capture file. Okay, so to get there, we're going to have to go to the file up here and then export objects, and it's going to be HTTP. Uh, for the text filter, you can just type in the TXT for the TXT file, and then this is the only one that pops up. So we'll go ahead and save that to the desktop here. Once that's saved, uh, you just want to go ahead and open it up, and then you can kind of see a picture here. For some reason, it didn't pop up very well. The first time I did it, it showed up a lot better than this, but it's supposed to say Packet Master, so the answer is going to be Packet Master here. Okay, so the last question, uh, look at the expert info section. What is the number of warnings? If you click the red little dot down here, all this will pop up. You only want to show the warnings so you can uncheck all the other ones. And then, yeah, if you expand it to the left and to the right so you can see full screen, just click the full screen button there. It'll show the count here, so the count's 1,636. All right, number one says packet number four. Right click on the hypertext transfer protocol and apply it as a filter. Now look at the filter pane. What is the filter query? It looks like it changed it to HTTP there. All right, and the next question is, what is the number of displayed packets? If you look at the bottom of the, the window, it says displayed 1089 there. The next question is, go to packet number 33,790, so we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so the easiest way to answer this question I found is just go to the packet 33,790, uh, right click on it, and you want to do follow the HTTP stream. Once you're on here, you can just find artists. And you can just go down a couple. All right, so if you go down far enough to this one, uh, it says there's artist. Artist one is the one we already knew. Then there's an artist two down here, which is blade. 
And then an artist three right here, which is Lize. So in total, there is three of them. And then the next question is, what is the name of the second artist? As I already said, it's Blade with a three at the end. Okay, so that's everything with task number five. Uh, task six doesn't have any questions usually, so it doesn't have any. This one's just the basics room. If you guys want to see the other two rooms, the other two rooms are the packet operations and the and then the traffic analysis. If you guys want to see either one of those or both of them, just let me know and I'll do those. Thank you guys for watching.